Hello everybody, it's Bets Golden. I'm going to be playing with some Renea foil paper today and some Joy Claire stamps, making a five by seven card for the fall. Um, it's going to be a tag in a library card so that it would be great as a hostess gift uh, or just a little present of appreciation for somebody you could put a gift card in with it too. I am using the Metallics Variety Pack, and Renea has two different sizes that I have. I have the Artistic Pack, which is perfect for card making, and then I also have the Crafters Pack, um, which is 6x12, and this is 4x6. Since my card is a 5x7, I'm going to go ahead and use the Crafters Pack on this project and set this one aside for another use another day. And I am going to first start off by cutting down my card base. My envelope, I believe, is for a 5x7 card. Yep, so I can cut exactly 5x7. Sometimes when you buy the envelopes, if they're an off-brand, the envelope itself will be 5x7. And then you have to go and... and you know, plan your card accordingly. I'd like to take off a half inch. So for envelopes that are true five by sevens, I'll make the card base, you know, four and a half by six and a half. But for this one, it is indeed a, it's four five by seven card. So I'm first going to cut this down to a seven by 10, because I'm going to have to fold it. Then I'm just going to go ahead and make that fold so I can kind of eyeball what I'm working on and make sure it fits in the envelope before I go any further, just to double check. I think it should, but I never always trust my measurements. Yep, it sure does. Okay. So I can set this aside. My base that I want to do, I always like to do a double layer base on this. So um, I am going to, let's go over what's in the metallics. Basically, you're going to get three different colors of foil paper, one in the starburst and one in the glossy in the metallics variety, and you're going to have two of each. So you're going to get two glossy of copper, silver, and gold, and you're going to get two starburst in copper, silver, and gold. So this is beautiful starburst. This one looks like it's the copper. This one looks like it's the silver. This one looks like it's the gold. And then again, here's your glossies. Copper, silver, gold. Now my very favorite hands down has always been the copper. I love the copper. So for this particular project, I'm actually going to be pulling out the gold starburst and the copper. I'm going to be using ghost ink with my stamps. And it's important that when you, for me, when I use ghost ink, for this particular card, I do want to be able to have a pretty clear image that those are leaves. These are wonderful layering stamps. I'm going to use some colored ink on top of the ghost image of these types of, of the, the solid first. The ghost ink doesn't work on silver because the under layer is silver, so it's going to pull a silver out. The darker the paper, the more you can see that image. So that's why I'm going with the copper on this as what I'm going to stamp on. So I'll set that aside. So for this particular project, I'm going to mat on my Starburst Gold. I just pop on this. I am going to go ahead and just run a little bit of ink along the edges because it is a similar shade. And this will just give it some definition. Now 
like that. That looks good. Okay, so for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my block. Instead of doing these separately, because that would take forever, I'm going to go ahead and just load up my block with as many of these as I can. Since these are a cling foam, I do need to have a foam mat under my paper that I'm stamping on, regardless of if it was the foil paper or regular paper. And the reason is because you want a cleaner, a crisper image. So I'm just going to take my ghost ink and I'm going to ink it up. And I know that I have good coverage because my ghost ink appears white on my stamped image. I'm going to stamp this off the page. Like so. So from here, I'm going to kind of clean that up off of the background. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is I just need to dry this for just a second with a heat gun. I don't want to leave my heat gun all in one location on this or else it will bubble. I need to move it around. I am in a dry climate, so I will only really need to heat set this for maybe four to eight seconds. If you're somewhere in the south, like Mississippi, and you have more humidity, you're gonna need to heat set it a little bit longer. I'm gonna take a wet, you can use a wet paper towel, and I am going to lift up that image. See how gorgeous that is? And that silver is coming right through. It's beautiful. My image was not real crisp on this, but I'm okay with that. Okay, so this is my background sheet, and I'm done with this. I'm going to place it on here, and we're going to move on to the tag. All right, so for the next step, I have two tags one of which I'm going to stamp a sentiment and the other one is going to be the background stamp. And for this tag, I am going to use the Jack-O-Lantern uh, by Brutus Monroe, it's a surface ink. And I'm going to just take the same thing that I did with this and do it here. And then I'm going to add the details, the second layer onto these images. So now I need to take, I have these done, and as you can tell, they look like they're related, right? But they don't look exactly the same, which is what I was going for. This is definitely a much more muted type style, and this is a little bit, you know, more um, structured, I guess is the word. And together, they're going to look super nice, like they belong. All right, so from here, I need to stamp my sentiment on this yellow and then I'm going to go through and ink the edges and finish off my little library card. So for my sentiment, I think I'm going to do wishing you blessings this fall. And I'm going to do this again in this beautiful mac macchiato color. Thank you. 
One trick that you can do whenever you're laying stamps out is, especially with your acrylic ones like this that are the clear, lay it out as you would see it on your surface and then go in with your acrylic block and pick it up. That way you will get perfect placement every time. So I'm done with my stamped images. Whenever you have an acrylic block in it, I mean, excuse me, um, acrylic clear stamps, it always comes with this little piece. Don't ever disregard this. Always, always keep it because it helps keep your stamps protected and free from dust so that the image will always stamp clear. I just keep it in its original packaging. So again, these stamps were by Joy Claire. I'll have that listed down below for the link to their store. It's just www.joyclaire.com. Really cute layering set for fall. Love it. I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of this, and then we're going to put together our library card. I'm just going to ink the edges in black. I could do brown, but I want a little bit of variation. Plus, I inked the edges of the starburst in black so I do want there to be some unity all right from here I haven't quite decided if I want to adhere it to the tag like so I have this really I kind of think I do. How I have this really, really cute. Yeah, I like that. Isn't that darling? I love it. Okay. Um, really cute gem. So if you're doing this project, I did go ahead and just did the inside because I didn't know. It also would be cute kind of off center, but this is the the library card that I'm using. And so I think I pretty much Yeah, I think I want it in the center like so. All right. So for this library card, I want to go ahead and add some gold foil to this. And I think I want to wrap it around. The beauty of this foil paper is it is totally flexible and it holds its shape. So it folds lovely. So I need to do my measurements first. Then I have this really nice little doily. I like to do layering with, you know, the foil paper and then something that is matte, so to speak. Little owl. I'm going to put the owl right there. That's why I wanted the doily <laughs> was I wanted to, to kind of frame the owl. I really like that owl. I think it's so cute. It's by Expo. They have beautiful trim. Oh my goodness. All right, so now my pocket is ready to go on to my card front. That is so cute. And I'm going to slip this in. However, I am not going to adhere my tag because I want my tag to be able to be pulled out in red. I mean, right there, you can't even read what the sentiment says. And I don't know how far down I need to have it in the pocket because of the size of my card. This is a rather large tag in general. So, but I do need it in there so that I know where to place it on my card. All right, there it is. Really cute little five by seven gift card tag holder type deal. And when this comes out, you can see the gorgeous background. This right here, you could put easily a Starbucks gift card in here or my favorite Dutch Brothers. A Target gift card would be great. This would make a really nice little hostess thank you card for the holidays. Please make sure that you hop on over to the Renia 
website. It's listed below. Check out the shop for the metallic pack, as well as the blog for other designers' um, creations using Rania foil. It's so much creativity over there. It's wonderful. Guys, until next time, happy crafting!